Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our sisters, Selena and Rashawn, recently spent some time with one of gospel music's hottest couples, Warren and Erica Campbell. All right, and the people say that they talked about a lot, reality TV and the do's of don'ts of marriage, and much, much more. Let's take a look. Good morning, good morning, everybody. It's Get Up Mornings. I'm Erica Campbell. Stop traveling, stop working. That I'm extremely busy. Right here, boom. I oh, mean, this is really hard. I want us to be blissfully happy, and I feel like we're not there. How has reality TV changed your lives, and how are you going to make sure it doesn't change this? You know, that's a good, good question. Um, I feel like my life is a testimony, so I'm not embarrassed or ashamed of anything that I've been through because anything that I'm in the process of going through for me is an opportunity for God's greatness to show, for him to fix it, repair it, teach me something, teach us something. So I look at you know us doing the show as our opportunity to reflect what really is happening in a lot of homes. Reality TV ought to be just a, a public display of what you do privately. Right. You know what I mean? It shouldn't change who you are, you don't change. Some people change for the camera. Somebody, mm -hmm. they, they put on their dress a little differently, like, mm -hmm. you know, I always wonder why, why do you have on all the jewelry and the makeup in, in the, the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> you just yeah. woke up. You brush your teeth, you know, that kind of thing. You know, I said, just show us how we are yeah. and what we do, you know, yeah. don't, don't put no extras on it. Now on the Mary Mary show, you know, towards the extras. end, there was a lot of, well, how do you feel when she said this? And how do you feel when she said, does that make you angry? I'm going, no. Oh, wow. Yeah, are if you jealous? Did, I would have showed no. you that. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Always so. are you jealous. But I show, we couldn't do it anymore. You no, know, we don't have to do that. It can be argued that the church has traditionally had a tough time tackling sexuality. Um, what is it that you want to impart upon not only the church, but just the world regarding that? You know, I want people to feel comfortable in the skin that they're in. Stop comparing themselves to other people. Mm -hmm. You know, God did make us sexual be beings. This is not an accident. Right. You know, it's all what he created, the beauty of all of this. Yeah. And so when we understand that power but include his greatness in it, mm -hmm. it's something that's just a little more elevated than this raunchy version of sex and sexuality yeah. that we get. It's not, it's not cheap. It's not back alley. It's mm -hmm. not back seat of the car. It is... It is royal, it is amazing and beautiful. And when people look at themselves like that, their own bodies, especially when it comes to intimacy with their partners, yes. it just, it changes everything. So like I'm doing something right. <laughs> well, you, yeah, listen. I, I feel like you're talking about me. Uh, I listen. Just... <laughs> I love Let's not tell everything. <laughs> yes, yes, that's great. That's great. And you guys have been um, intentional, about, intentional about being transparent in your marriage. Even in like your, your reality show, The Campbells, you have this thing called check-ins, yes. which yeah. is really cool, yes. I think. Yes. Well, how has that um, increased the strength of your marriage? Okay. Well, I mean, you know, uh, as men, we can really ignore the feelings of our, of our women. Mm -hmm. not, not necessarily intentionally, but you know, if it's not important to us, we just feel like it ain't important at all. Mm -hmm. And so what I've learned to do just by watching my father uh, and <laughs> watching him just ignore my mom <laughs> sometimes. Oh man, well, why you the bus, whoosh. The, the generation before us informs us on how we're supposed to do it, we, you know. Yes. And so I watched him do it and said, my mom don't like that. Yeah. And so I told my dad, I said, dad, why don't you pay a little more attention to this, that, and the other thing, and it worked out for him. I said, why don't I employ that in my own marriage? Yes. And so I would listen to her, I would check in and say, mm -hmm. I, am I doing something wrong right now? Am I, mm -hmm. Are you liking what I'm doing right now? Are, yeah. Am I not, you know, is this something that, that, that I'm missing, you know? Yeah. And that really worked out for us. Like, you know, I think men's emotions get ignored a lot. Mm -hmm. Their insecurities, their feelings, what they're excited about. You know, sometimes we're on two different pages, but sometimes you need to get on his page and find out Tell me how your day was. Yes. Tell me, because you know, when they come in the house, we can download. This happened and da 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 Never even asking them, how do you feel? You know what it you is know? too? We're not allowed to be emotional. Right. You know, a, a man needs and his wife a safe place to fall apart. Oh, mm. really? That's because... a good message. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, safe place to fall <laughs> apart. Yeah, like, the world is rough on me. I, I, I have to fall apart sometimes, mm -hmm. but I can't do it in front of the world. Yeah. I can't, especially as a black man, you can't show the weakness, but mm -hmm. when I come home, I need to be able to fall apart and you help me put myself, put me back together again, yeah. wow. as she so wonderfully does. Oh my God.
And speaking of safe place, mm -hmm. the world is not really a safe place anymore, as well as the music industry. And mm -hmm. although it's still the gospel music industry, it still is the music industry at yeah. the end of the day. And I know a beautiful woman like you, Erica, you have probably um, experienced sexual harassment inside of our industry. What I want to know is, you know, with this whole Me Too movement, mm -hmm. all these women coming out, you know, Bill Cosby, yeah, and yeah, Weinstein, yeah. you know, yeah. if you've ever experienced anything similar to what these women are saying? And if so, Warren, how do you handle it? Well, uh, let me start. If, if, thank God I don't have that story. Mm -hmm. There has been times where, you know, I could feel the energy changing. I don't shrink, thank God. I don't, I'm not the kind of woman that shrinks. You know, I did have a man who did this and I just moved his hand. I said, mm-mm, not this one. Mm. You know what I mean? Not yours, you know, okay. just little things like that kind of give me my power back, mm -hmm. you know? And I felt like if this guy's, you know, um, advances mean I go to another level, I don't need that level. God will put me there. Why your face looks so... Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I get upset, you know, as her covering, it makes me upset. That's yeah. Look like, like he <laughs> about to... Yeah. See, he used to work for death row, but he a preacher now, so it's a combination. Oh, yes. So don't try him just because right. he do gospel. Don't. <laughs> Yeah, throw a cross at you. Don't right. try it. He's not gonna throw a cross. This <laughs> might be if oh, really? God. Oh, God. I love oh, you, huh? Okay. Hold on, hold on. Oh, cameras here, man. Blessed hands. Blessed hands. Yeah. No, you know, she was on a set of a movie she was doing one time, and she was in the scene with this preacher, and he was flirting with her, right? Mm -hmm. But I, I wasn't there yet. I, and I walked on, I must have walked around the corner, and he changed everything he the was whole saying. Thing. But I didn't know it. She told me later. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I'm, gla I'm glad But she covered me in that moment because I, I, I don't know how I would have handled that. Yes. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because I am very protective of who she is, and, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I'm just, I just feel like my woman is my queen. Still grinding. Yes. Ooh. We've got more of our interview <laughs> with Warren and Erica Campbell. When we come back, it's good. Yes. <laughs> I say forever, let's just be clear. I'ma be loving you. I'll be loving you. All of my life. Yes. This is the first time you have collaborated on a full length track. Yeah. Why now? Uh because if I didn't, I sleep in the bed wire and she'd be kicking me <laughs> under the covers. So I I've you. been asking him to sing forever. <laughs> really? I've had the privilege of hearing him sing songs to me while he's producing songs, watching him work with people. Like, he's an amazing singer with a wonderful voice. Oh, and <laughs> and I'm like, let's do a song. And he's like, nah. I'm like, come on, peaches and herb. Uh, like, first of all. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, reunited and it feels so good? What? Uh, okay. <laughs> he's like, yeah. No, so, you know, when we finally did this song, he literally was just demoing it for LaShawn Daniels, who wrote the song with us. And so, um, Sean moved and... No, first he said, no, you just need to stay on the song. I'm yeah. like, nah, bro, that's never happening. Because here's the thing, I don't mind singing it, but what's gonna happen when they say, okay, can you come perform it? Yeah. Now, I'm, uh... I'm not coming to that. Well, what you <laughs> Out of control. Now, now I'm comfortable with it. Now, you know, it's just. It's a, you was very comfortable. We saw you in the video, sir. You was quite swaggy. I'm just saying. I mean, that was you. You were loving that. No, I was. Why once you was I, once I get, my thing is getting to the stage. I hate all that. But once I'm on the stage, I'm good. Getting to it is, <laughs> getting to it is a lot of work. That whole build up oh. is off the chain. It's a lot, yeah. but I think it's good. I think it's good. I get good. to do it with her. Yeah. Yes. Which is. You know, cool. So we're singing all of my life for the rest of my life to God, but we will be loving each other all of our lives for the rest of our lives. So it's kind of this double meaning and feeling as you say it to each other. And then I think that um, our mesh, our marriage can reflect our relationship with God. I like our service to each other, our love for each other, and you know that takes us to this different place, this, this higher. Isn't it's not, it's not a regular love kind of situation? This is not necessarily. No, this ain't regular. This, 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 is special. this is so amazingly cute. <laughs> This is great. It's like best friends. Yes. That's what you have to be. You got to be best friends. Yes. Yeah, he is my this is my dog. You got to be family for real. I told my wife before we got married. I said the only thing, only way this is going to work is if we treat it like my sister, my my blood sister. If she shoots me in my kneecap, guess what? I can't do. I can't change the fact that she's my sister. There's nothing I can do. So when we get married, there's nothing you can do that's gonna make me say, well, I ain't your husband no more. Right. I'm not gonna shoot you, baby. Well, oh please don't. Not in the kneecap, at least. Not in the kneecap. Right. Well, you have, you have covered the gamut. 
marriage, um, successful marriage, uh, tel uh, reality television, ministry. music, mm -hmm. ministry, everything. Is there anything that you want to do or that you are already doing going forward? She can't add it. Am I greedy? I'm, I, I just, there's so much more to do. She is writing a book right now. I mm -hmm. am called More Than Pretty. And it's about the soul work, being honest, mm -hmm. getting past your past, mm -hmm. embracing who you are, assessing your village. Like these are my different chapters and these are things that I've gone through in my life. And while it looks like, oh, everything's all gravy, a lot of tears in my life, a lot of yeah. questions, a lot of why God, a lot of when God. And so, you know, it's more than this shell. It's mm -hmm. more than the edited picture that you see. So I cannot wait to share all of this okay. um, with all the right. world. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. Aren't they fantastic? Hey, hey, the bomb. The bomb. We love y'all. We love yeah. you too. We love the circle. You love the circle. 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 <laughs> The circle is yeah. complete, man. We got us a free therapy session I'm and everything. To tell you. This is great. I'm gonna go tell Kiwan right after this. I'm a place of salvation. Yes. I'm safe. Right. I'm safe. Please. Please. In anywhere. What you got? That's right. That's right. And the love check-in is starting today. Yes, it is. <laughs> Every give it up for Erica and Warren Campbell. Yes, that was yes. so good. Uh, we just love when, when they're down to the circle. Yes. And you can check out Warren and Erica Campbell's new hit single, All of My Life. Yes. All of My Life. Uh -huh. All music streaming services and the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV and all social media platforms. Great yeah. job. Yeah. I love, I love them. them. Love them. Love them. Love them.